We'll talk about a palate cleanser coming up next. Golden style. Blitzkrieg Bedlam variation. Silver sniper TJ Crawford set to make his first defense, and he is set to do it against an opponent he knows very well. McGold in his debut match. That's, that's the equivalent of pitch the perfect game. Marky Mather is one of the most electrifying talents I've ever witnessed personally. I'm sure he would like to settle the score, but is TJ Crawford thinking? He's already got one up on him. What's another? I don't know if Silver Sniper is an accurate title anymore. That's a golden sniper if I've ever seen one, Sky. I sang TJ Crawford's praises for the longest time. You know this, Johnny. I thought he had everything it took to be a champion. I just don't respect the way that he got there. We talked about it earlier, but back at Restable, 35 millimeter magic, Angelo Carter. And I, I have questions if it was more if they were helping TJ Crawford or costing CPA. The CPA sure got his comeuppance earlier in the evening. They formed a new alliance along the way. Bulls Carter for this title match. Or I got to believe TJ Crawford might have told them, I got this. I'm up 2-1 in this series. Y'all can stay in the limo. But between big business, between the acknowledgement of Anthony Green of how good TJ Crawford is, the respect is coming in in droves and title waves. Big fight feel here in Westfield. We'll turn it over to Big Phil. Formerly known as the Windy City Kid. Broken bread about games at guaranteed rate field more than once. Wrigley Field as well. Shout out to TJ Crawford in that regard as a baseball fan. But tonight's not about baseball. It's about pro wrestling. It's about that magnificent championship belt that he captured at Mandibles in ladder hell. And you had said it before, that there may be a bit of a scar on that victory. Tonight is a chance for that scar to start healing beating one of his most storied rivals in all of his history. Two of the best to do it right now on the independence. Marcus Mather is getting a warm reception here, which is awesome because, again, this is his debut, but that just goes to show how well-known he is now. Now, and I was talking before earlier about the skill in being an away team in the case of VSK. Marcus Mathers, the young prodigy, has that in spades. He is very willing to wander into unfamiliar territory and immediately make it his own. We've seen him do it countless times. We've seen him do it at Pro Wrestling Grind. We're seeing him do it here tonight. 
That's the thing. And for those that aren't familiar with Marcus Mathers yet, they're going to learn today. Because like we've been saying, he really is one of the best. And he's one of the best for a reason. They are in for a treat. I think we're all in for a treat with this matchup. I really hope it's a nice, clean, fair contest. We'll see. I don't know that I have that much faith yeah. in TJ Crawford. Regardless, champion and challenger are preheating this oven nicely. They know how big this fight is. And the bar has been very kind to our Westfield faithful tonight. They will go back and forth all night. Marcus Mather is taking a victory lap already. Well, hold on. Yeah, no, I think. Well, you want crowd interaction? Folks, this is what you pay for. Great for, for all of those watching at home right now on IWTV. But this is why you want to be in person. Get your tickets, come to the show. How fun is this right now, Johnny? They right there with you. Yet. Folks at home, whose name are you chanting? Let us know using the hashtag, everything is all right. happy with the outcome. <laughs> no losers, though. <laughs> yes, now round of applause for Westfield. You know, we had, we had questions about the demeanor of TJ Crawford coming into this, but he's all smiles. Honestly, I like it. That's the TJ I know. That's yes. really refreshing to see. Honestly, we could chalk it up to him having to do what he had to do then. And hopefully he is an honorable champion going forward. Well, we are about to get our first sign. Last time we saw TJ Crawford here in Westfield. Clashed rapiers with one Kevin Blackwood. Came out victorious. There was honor shown to that. But there's not. Honor shown on the opening handshake tonight. I had a feeling, Johnny. Big business running through his veins. That's the thing, the influence of big business and those around him. I mean, it really changes attitude entirely. It's one thing to know that you are good. It's another to know you're good and then cut corners. He has been told by many upperclassmen, never mind waiting for it, go and take it. Wow. Speaking of going and taking it. Yes, Marcus Mathers, nothing taken, just earned. Absolutely incredible. If there wasn't a body, TJ Crawford's body that is, to stop him, he would have went right into the bar across the way. Yeah, absolutely. Marcus Mathers, that athletic ability, it doesn't have a ceiling. And now he's aware. His old rival, he's got to stay on T.J. Crawford. Stank on a cheap shirt, the scoop. Let him think about it. Follows on through with the slam. One more. One more. One more or move on. He's letting him know. Press slam. I think he's. I think he's choosing one more in the form of a press slam. Yeah, I see Perry Von Vicious from his merch table. He approves, but the scoop slam all the same. Well delivered. And he is not overexerting himself, and against an athlete like T.J. Crawford, who can go for hours, never mind how many minutes, wise to do so. Well, that's the thing when you think of both of these two. I mean, they both have second. Third, multiple yeah. gas reserves. They can get second wins, no problem. Both yeah. of these two can go the distance. Woo. No doubt. Both both built for speed and distance together. Now TJ Crawford. That hangman's neck breaker off the second rope there. The single bicep poke. Oh, 
Now TJ, looking to stack on that offense there. TJ taking over, confidence exuding off of him. And this is not the TJ Crawford that Westfield remembers from the bout with Kevin Blackwood. They do recognize that there must have been an attitude shift, and they're about to find out firsthand, as is Marcus Mathers, if he didn't know already. He's fully aware of TJ Crawford's alignment with big business and the attitude shift that has come as a result. But only two. Only TJ two. Crawford, yes indeed. He's got to watch out for Marcus Mathers, who is quick to rally back from any semblance of deficit, the sooner he can uncork that silver bullet the bu or a buzzsaw kick variation. One of those head kicks he's got in his arsenal. One of his many. But that's the thing for some of our BP faithful. They've watched TJ Crawford since he first started cutting his teeth here in Blitzkrieg Pro. His first tangle with Anthony Green here. When he tangled with Andy Brown. They watched him grow up as a competitor before their eyes. Marcus oh. Mathers now. There we go, that's what we were talking about. The jumping savant with one foot into the second rope cutter. Dead lift, making him think about it. Full 360, pop of the hips. Wow. Close, no cigar. I know. Every singles bout that TJ Crawford had leading up to ladder hell, it prepared him for that moment between Blackwood, between Aaron Rourke, VSK, Andy Brown, Ryan Mooney. He's fallen in championship bouts time and time again. He wasn't going to let it happen at ladder hell. I hate the way he did it. But after, after two times failing, I get it. I don't like it. Now hold on. I also get it. <laughs> But here's where T.J. Crawford has to get it done on his own merits against well, one of well, his greatest the rivals. That's the thing. I mean, if he doesn't win this, is it all a fluke? Like, right. can he not get it done right. without 35 millimeter magic? Exactly. Falcon arrow. But this is the kind of combos that he starts stacking together. This is what got him the nod from Anthony Green. This is what got him the ticket to Major League Wrestling. This level of grit and the ability to string high-impact moves together. Now, he don't like the noise anymore. Snipers do their best work in the silence, don't you know? Yeah, maybe they're start the Blitzkrieg faithful is starting to get in the head of TJ Crawford. It seems to not face him at first, but oh, maybe he just wanted him to quiet down so they could hear that thud. Those vicious kicks, I mean, my chest hurts watching that. Black belt in Taekwondo, TJ Cross. Marcus Mathers has tasted those kicks before. And TJ only gets more pre precise with them. He's got the revolver brandished. But the kick snatched. Crispy right hand. Talk about precision. And focusing on his target again. Ooh. That'll nope. be home on the silver bullet. Marcus Mathers. Well done. Wow. Ace crusher. Woo. Only good for two. But a great equalizer for Marcus Mathers. Absolutely, these two know each other so, so well. Marcus needed the breathing room now more than ever. And Marcus can withstand an otherworldly amount of punishment between your traditional rule sets and your deathmatch rule sets. He's been through the ring. Hold on. Oh, oh 
The difference in force between the high-pitched crack and the low-pitched thud. Woof. I don't even think we had to be silent for that. I think we would have heard it regardless. This is how Marcus likes to introduce himself to crowds that are meeting him for the first time. And talk about a well-rounded wrestler. I mean, we're talking about his speed, his agility, but also his grit, his striking ability. Woof! Look at the force behind it. TJ with the climbing knee strike. Now, yes, indeed. If there's anybody that knows how deep the well runs with Marcus Mathers, it's TJ Croft. Destined to do this forever. And now TJ. That Falcon Arrow didn't get it done in the ring the traditional way. Asking people to move. Is he going to flip them over right onto the chairs, the front row? Likes a brain buster, likes a Falcon Arrow. Oh my God, oh my God. But Marcus, able to land on the apron. Answers with the Yakuza kick. TJ, one of his own. Heel side. Marcus under turn. Back and forth they go. Just a kick exchange. You don't see this too often. Of a tempo. But mo both masterful with their legs. And they know what this means. Oh! Like Rocky and Apollo. Only with feet instead of fists. And now we've got a new question. Can either of them answer the count? That's what I'm saying. Are we up to three? We're in for a double count out here. Not the way, I don't think that's the way TJ Crawford wants to, you know, have his first title defense go. I don't think that's how Marcus Mathers wants his debut to go either, but we're already up to eight. Lose-lose situation. No doubt about it. Nine. Nine, what? Oh, that was a close, close call. Yeah, they're sliding back into the ring and then they're throwing your body back into the ring. Both very slow to rise, but meeting in the middle. The snake and the mongoose. I also respect that TJ rolled back in because the title wouldn't change on a count out. He didn't have to continue this contest. He very well could have taken the easy way out. He could have taken the short way home. Short cut home, if you will. Marcus. Trying his hardest to maintain his poise, but TJ Crawford looking to stack on the edge. Ooh, ooh. Open hand strikes. Well, Marcus, the right cross. And now stacking up the elbows. Looking to close the door on the combo. Oh, the power into the fist. Marcus Mathers, but the spot kick to the midsection. Nobody home on the end, Saguri. Now the dragon suplex. Marcus has it scouted. Wants the suplex, snaps it off successfully. TJ trying to rally back into the corner, but Marcus already ready to go. TJ with the boot up. Stepping off the bottom, nobody home. Marcus up to the second. Oh my God! New Jersey Destroyer, now coming in hot. The bicycle kick to the back of the head. Electric chair transition. Spins his way into a power bomb. The spiral bomb. Wow. Got it. Some hang time there. Deep hook, only good for two though. But you said it. It just goes to show you there are layers of awesome. There really are. I mean, I. Right? We knew this contest would be absolutely incredible, but I mean... It began awesome, then it became a different kind of awesome. We have now reached layer three of awesome. And Marcus Mathers. He wants this night to be his most awesome night. His first night in Blitzkrieg Pro. And you see it in his eyes. Imagine 
winning, taking home the title, being the king of the mountain on your debut match. If anybody could do it. But TJ Crawford physically saying not today and now. Might have a superplex in mind. Marcus, though, adhered to the top and second row. Dropping TJ down. Marcus is thinking, this is my shot. This is my opportunity. Sure likes a 450 from that vantage point. But nails his head on the ceiling. Thought he had, a, had room to work with. But the oh. Superman punch connects. Now the rolling spot. Not able to connect with that ends Gurry. Marcus Mather snaps off the German suplex. Haymaker, dragon suplex out of TJ Croft. And that could have been the changing factor there. Low ceilings, hitting his head off the top. TJ's in control now. Oh no, wait! Yeah, Marcus might have to go to a different option. And he's got him. Hold on! Oh wait! Oh, he wanted that, that New Jersey Destroyer one more time. He's in Crawford. Oh, he used the rope! Did you see that? My. Wait a second. Oh, I saw it, Sky. The last possible fraction of a second, the last tenth of a second, TJ Crawford fell onto that second rope. He knew Marcus Mathers. Nearly had him dead to rights with that, that destroyer variation, Jersey Destroyer. I didn't like his ways in this match, Johnny, but I really thought, you know, he can. He can get it done himself. He's done it two times over. Resorting to using the second rope. I mean, um, on your first title defense. And Ma Marcus Mathers, I'm not sure. Marcus Mathers smells a rat. I think when he goes back and watches this on IWTV, he's going to have some words for TJ Crawford using the hashtag everything is all right. Absolutely. And everyone, you know, asking for him to come back. I absolutely think he should come back. I hope he does. And I want to see that again because that was not a fair, that was not a fair win by any means. Nah, no doubt about it. Huh. Huh. Welcome to Fab Man.